This video is by request. One of the viewers asked, uh, how do I use this OBD2 dongle and the car scanner app? This is a VPeak OBD2 uh, OBD Check BLE dongle. Uh, most modern cars have an OBD2 port on there. Onboard Diagnostics is what the OBD stands for. That uh, you know, you go to AutoZone, they can plug it in, and it tells you what error codes the car has. You can pick these up off of Amazon. Um, that's where I got this one. Uh, it was under thirty dollars at the time, uh, and it just simply plugs in. So I'm going to show you how easy this is to use, and then how to set up your app in Car Scanner. <laughs> So the first thing to do is to take the dongle and find your OBD port and plug it in. It'll give you that blue light when it is on. With the car on and the dongle plugged in, now this is for the first time that you connect it, open up Car Scanner. I'm going to go into my garage. I've created a, a blank car here called my car. I'm going to select it, go back and hit connect. I need to select the connection profile. I'm going to say that it is a Chevrolet. It is a Bolt slash Ampera E, apply to the profile, hit next, and the app is now going to connect to the dongle in the car. Once it's there, I can go to dashboard. Now, the dashboard gives you a default screen that looks like this, which that isn't going to tell me exactly everything that I want to know. I can fill this screen up if I want to. So I'm going to go to uh, the second page of the dashboard, and I can double tap an empty spot, and I'm going to say I want my battery capacity uh, to be shown. And let's have that be a gauge. And now I can hold it down and click those arrows. Don't show that message again. And now I can move it to wherever I want and then tap OK. And it's there. I can double tap another spot. And I'm going to want my state of charge. I've got the raw state of charge. Have that be a gauge as well. Double tap, hit the arrows, move it into place, and I can just fill up with whatever I want that way. Uh, on the profile that I actually have set up for this car, I'm going to go back to my garage. Uh, I have to disconnect from it. I'll go back into my garage and pick Elsa, select, have it connect. It takes a second. If I open the dashboard, I have the four pieces of information that I want to have when I'm plugged in. I have my battery state of charge, which is at 68.24% right now, how much power uh, the, the, car, the car is drawing from the battery, which right now is 0.77 kilowatts, the ambient air temperature outside, which is 77 degrees, and the battery temperature, which is 59 degrees. Both of those are in Fahrenheit. I can have more on this screen if I want. I choose not to. The, if it depends on how um, what information you want and uh, how much access to the information you want. Using a dongle, dongle like this is super easy. You just push it in, connect it through these steps. You can even have the uh, have it check for um, error codes on anyone uh, somewhere on here. Yeah, right there. You can check diagnostic trouble codes and have it read. So. If you're using uh, this on an internal combustion engine car and you get that check engine light, this is what you can, you can read. Also, you can get the check engine light on this car and it, it'll read it and it'll tell you what the fault was, uh, which, which can come in handy and make it so you don't have to go into uh, AutoZone and say, hey, can you scan it for me? You can do it in your driveway whenever you want. So no diagnostic trouble codes found, which is good. That's what you want to have your car say, but I didn't have to go anywhere to do this. I could just stand out here with the app open on my phone. What I use the uh, dashboard for is monitoring charge sessions and uh, making sure that I'm not getting the battery too hot or, or anything thing like that. So it's a really good tool to have and I hope you found this video informative. Thanks for watching.